Hope you're having a great Monday morning. The time is 8.40. Joining me now once again, Michael Benninger from Time Management Personal Chef Services. Good morning again, Michael. Good morning again. You helped us earlier deep frying up some Mars bars, and now we're going the healthier route. A healthier route, yeah. Making two versions of Asian slaw. Asian slaw, as opposed to a Western slaw. Okay, so this is our funky salad we're right. calling it today. So I'm going to get started with the dressing. You're chopping up. Right now, this is some Chinese lettuce. Okay. And I've got some Napa cabbage to go in here before okay. for a different kind of green. Is Chinese lettuce readily available in stores? Or Everywhere in Ontario, I'm sure. I'm sure you okay. can find it in every uh, large metropolitan center. Okay. Should be a problem. Okay. I found it in Burlington, which is a fairly uh, non-diversified community compared to Toronto. Okay. So. And Should then that's, is that bok choy? No. That's bok choy there. Bok choy. Uh, that's bok choy there. That's the Napa cabbage. Okay. And that's the Chinese lettuce. Okay. So the dressing is uh, consists of a few different things. Equal portions of... Uh, Rice just, vinegar? Just, yeah, just use that spoon. Just equal portions. Don't be. Don't worry about making it perfect. All right. All right. Just equal portions of the rice vinegar. So I'm putting in the rice vinegar. Right. Okay. What do we have here? And then that's mirin, which is a sweet Japanese cooking syrup. Mm. Again, you can find these in most stores. In most any store. Not a problem at all. And in here we have. That's just some vegetable oil. Vegetable two, oil. Equal portion enough. of that. For a little bit of oil. It smells wonderful already. And two measures of the sesame oil. Mm, I love sesame oil. I'm just loading up some stuff I pre-cut because I... So, sorry, two of these? Two of those, yeah. Okay. I like to have two. That's my own personal okay. choice. And then this? And that's palm sugar. So, just, that's a, a kind of a sugar that comes from that little cake right there from the palm okay. tree. Okay. Good little tap. How cool is that? Yep. And that's ginger and garlic. So good for you. So good for you. Fish of a okay. cake. Now, if you can start mixing that up... I'm, Gladly. Okay, I'm, I'm making two versions here, one vegetarian okay. and one with meat. Okay. The vegetarian one will use soy sauce, the meat version will use fish sauce. So when, once that's mixed I've up... I've never seen this, so what, what type of fish is uh, incorporated into this? Anchovies, actually. Oh, it's anchovies. And they pickle them in barrels. Okay, okay. How and about the limes? Am I using the limes? A, a good squeeze of lime juice. Squeeze of lime juice. Yeah. Okay. So very zesty and yep. citrusy. Yeah. I'll squeeze that for you. Yeah, oh, it's, 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 no, just uh, my hands are probably a little stronger. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Oof. <laughs> I knew that one. Perfect, happen. no problem. Okay. So, so pour half of that into there. Half into here. All right. Okay. Okay, that's good. And, and then we'll add one measure of soy sauce to this one. You got it. For, the, vegetari for the vegetarian version. Delish. And, and then and fish then sauce to that one. And the remaining, the fish sauce. Right. Okay, so does this taste, like, is it a strong taste of anchovies in here? Or if you eat at a Thai restaurant, you've had fish sauce. Mm-hmm. Add the towel, please. Of course. Okay. So and now... And so in there you have your grated carrots. This is grated carrots, cilantro, Napa cabbage, uh, some green onions. Okay. Uh, some fresh peppers. Mm. And now for the meat version... Look at the color. Isn't that yep. stunning? And for the meat version, I'm going to add some poached chicken, which I poached in a nice... Now, could uh, you substitute any type of meat in here if you'd like, or is it chicken best? Chicken, pork... Turkey. Turkey, something along those lines. Fish, no. Um, if it's already pre-cooked, a decent, like a salmon would be nice. Salmon, yeah. I wouldn't use beef in something like this. I think it's kind of a little bit heavy. Too heavy. Okay. So the vegetarian version first. So where's the soy vegetarian sauce Vegetarian is here. Okay, so this is the soy sauce one. Mm -hmm. Now, unlike Western dressings, you add a little of this. Less is more. Really? Just a little bit. So often we drench our salad. We drench. Right. So that's probably a tablespoon in this, that's it. In this entire thing. And it's enough because of all the different flavors. It all the various right flavors. You can see how it's glistening now mm -hmm. as, it's, as it's coating it. And you don't want this too heavy. You want the crunch of the cabbage. You want the snap of the various uh, vegetables to actually remain. Okay. So now, salt and pepper. You don't even add salt I and pepper. I don't even bother with salt and pepper because I find that the fish sauce has lots of flavors in it. Okay. And look at the presentation. What a so There's the colors. Fish. It's beautifully bright. Mm -mm, looks so healthy and crisp. And that easily would feed one person for lunch or two for a side salad. And which is why I like this is because this is very versatile. I'm Definitely. making it vegetarian and I'm making it uh, with meat, but I could also serve this as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. I could serve that as a side salad it's, quite easily. It looks stunning. It's and not, this is that's the, the vegetarian version. So that's the vegetarian version. This is the meat version. The meat version. With half of that. Is, ooh, ooh. See? Okay. A bit less is more. Less is more. Okay. And so you get your protein in here, and also, if you wanted, could you add maybe in a sort of a bean, like a if you chickpea wanted, or something for some protein? If you wanted bean sprouts, if you wanted to add chickpeas, if you wanted to add um, any vegetable you like, basically. And doesn't that look delicious? And it's so good for you. Now, if people want more info, they can visit your website at mm -hmm. timemanagement.ca. And it's C -A. time as in the, the herb, T-H-Y-M-E, management.ca. I think I must sample this. <laughs> Because it looks too good not to, may I? Sure. Now we'll just finish so it. Now this we'll just finish off traditionally with the Thai method of some chopped oh. peanuts. Mm. 